Okay, we're going to continue our series of uh, interior and exterior design and twin motion. We're going to start by uh, updating the materials. Uh, before doing that, though, I'm just going to add a green landscape. And uh, probably we'll do a, a little bit of landscaping just to show you. So where do I find that? In your library, which is right here uh, under vegetation. And I'm going to recommend that you just use the flat landscape. Okay, it's just easier and simpler so you don't have to do too much sculpting and just a little bit because it'll almost assuming your house is uh, well built it'll be flat okay so as you can see uh, and here I am and, and this is the panel over here uh, and if you recall I talked about this in the previous video if you see all this just close it that way you can just click on the house and just drop the house a little bit lower so that it's right on the ground and I'll do the same thing with my pool and you probably have different assets and so on that you might have included. That's the only thing with the pool is you got to make sure the water is still visible. And maybe you want to get in really close. Looks, It definitely looks good. Um, you might want to put it a little bit higher. So depends what you're doing, of course. So I'm going to go just a little bit higher for the water. And uh, I'm going to do a little bit of landscaping. So you, what you have to do is click on the landscape. As you can see whatever it says flat I have selected it and there's two tools there's the sculpt terrain which you know you can create little mountains and so on all around and you know you can enlarge this brush if you wanted to and make a big mountain over here or a hill uh, you know so it's not so flat I'll, I'll, I'll not do too much here but just a little bit uh, and we're gonna leave it at that that's good enough uh, you can explore, and there's different shapes here that you can go and get. So this will kind of create little splotches that are not just like uh, a hill. Um, and if you want to flatten, the two tools I always recommend are this one and this one. If for some reason you want to put something on this hill, you can flatten it. Okay. And the other thing too is when you're using this brush, if you make something that's like this, you want to shrink it, press the shift key. And it'll bring it back down but see i went a little too much there i'll just go Control z a couple of times which also works really well uh, and so i'll let you explore that uh, the other thing too that i'm going to show you is and on this landscape or this model i don't have uh, a driveway which i would like to have now the purpose of our our, our design is kind of to sell this model okay as if we were you know real estate uh, or a builder that was trying to sell these things so under objects there's a section called primitives and if you look there's flat primitives so I'm going to go with the 10 meter primitive and just drop it right in front here and that's probably good enough and if you want to use the 7 tool so let me just put 6 7 and I can make it a little bit longer so it looks a little more like a driveway and I'll click back on the five tool or the move tool I should say and you know place it however you want and like I said the pur purpose of this tutorial is to get some materials so that means we already did the material for the water so we made that look nice uh, and I'm gonna just do a couple just so you see how it's done um, and if I recall the uh, coverings for for your um, house are for your asphalt are not here let me just think where did I, where are those I can't remember where it is I'm just gonna type asphalt there you go so I'm just gonna grab one real quick and it might be in materials and I'm just gonna go with a black asphalt or brown there you go and I can always zoom in and go and see so now I'm gonna go back to uh, my regular materials and what I want to do is decorate my house so I'm just going to show you quickly, like, boom, there, I'm happy with that. Uh, maybe for uh, this, uh, the pool, I'm going to drop this material. And so basically what you want to do is have students look at different, uh, you know, designs and, and consider what looks good, what doesn't look good. And so this metal with the black will look really nice. So maybe I'll put that over here. So this model is very versatile, which I really like. 
I'm also going to go look. There's a roofing section here. So, you know, you can try different roofs and you can you always see a, a preview of what it would look like. So I'm going to add this one on and it looks really good. Now, when you add something, you might want to tell the students take a few minutes to go look to make sure it looks good up close using, you know, that does decorate the whole inside of the house, which is a bit of a shame that it does that. But that's really what it is. Your free models and that's now inside of here there are decals that you could or, or or wall coverings and i can't remember where they are either so i'm going to just go wall covering uh, and just you know see what happens now does that do the outside it probably does but that actually looks better so that's kind of what you're doing is you're iterating you're trying different things trying to make it look nicer uh, and you can see like this grass is eh, it's not too bad i think i'm going to keep that uh, and you just basically go around your model and now you're focusing more on the outside and you're focusing on the materials. And your next step would be to start bringing in some models. So inside here, uh, what you'll see is vegetation and landscape. Well, you might want to go and grab some trees. So uh, let's just, you could put them one at a time, uh, which is probably the best thing to do. And, you know, try different models and you can, of course, use the seven key and make this tree a lot taller. And if you want to keep the proportions, just do it from the middle here and, uh, you know, just play around with that. Another thing that's really good on the outside are rocks that often, oops, I'm in the tree section here. So if I just go back, um, there's bushes, there's a bunch of rocks and you know, they, they, they put some out here. You could even put some on your landscape or outside. What I usually do is have students decorate the immediate exterior of the house. And I think if you click the six key and shift, you can make a, a sort of a quick copy that way. Shift. Now, I'm not sure I would really leave that there, but that, you know, I'm just showing you that you can move that around. Uh, and you're basically uh, decorating all of this. So, one of the things that we can also do is vegetation paint. Okay, so where did I go? I clicked here, vegetation paint. And what I'm going to do is go to grass and flowers. And I'm going to go to the bottom here. And I'm going to just add these little flowers. And density is really important here. So we don't want this to be too dense. But I think it's just putting one out at a time. And then if you zoom in, you'll see what it does. Yeah, it's too dense, but I just want to show you that you can play around with that. And so they can basically paint the outside here with a whole bunch. And it only shows up when you go close, but that's fine. Um, now, the other thing that you might want to do is there, there are park benches. There are all these really cool objects for the outside of your home. Uh, this is the inside. Um, so let's just type bench. Now, students will have a lot more time to search around and, and look for this. There's a, even exterior weights and so on, so on here that you can, like an outside gym, really cool. There's just a lot of things. Now, one thing you might want to do is, I'm just going to close this vegetation paint here before. And I might also want to save it at this point because this stuff loves to crash. So save it somewhere. Um, that they're going to remember okay so i'm doing that right now and what i want to do now is go get a car and put it in the driveway make it you know and of course now one of the things that's cool with the car models is you can just click it and change the paint you know maybe you want to put two cars basically the kids just decorate uh you know i want a green car let's pretend and you know, there's also, you could add a couple of models. Now, it depends if we were used, we could use twin motion assets in a Unreal Engine game. So one of the things that I do when I do that with students is that I don't have them put in animated models. Well, they used to not work and maybe that's changed, but I don't know. So, uh, you know, there's animated humans. So you could just make, drop that in the yard here as if they're standing there. Oops, little Z. Let's just drag another one in here and, you know, just decorate the whole scene. There's just a lot of things you can do in here. 
So what I do is I have the students do the outside as the first step, okay? And and then, you know, as the teacher, I definitely wander around and chat and look at what they're doing and give them some feedback. And, you know, sometimes students won't uh, think of little details that they could put. And uh, usually I just plug them in on these videos and have them kind of go to that. Now, for I just I'll take one second to show Quixel Mega Scans. So these are outside sources, and you have to actually download these. So if you're if you're not logged in, you'll have to log into your Epic Games account. And once you do that, you can go get a lot of really cool stuff. So I'm going to just go like Street. Uh, let's pretend I wanted something to do with the curb, and you know there's all these really neat materials there. Now these. I would tell you to use them sparingly because they actually download to your computer and take up space. So maybe you don't want that. Uh, you know, let's see, building, balcony, let's see what I, there's a lot of interesting assets here. And these are all scanned from real uh, world locations. So these are all photogometry that uh, is taken from all across the globe and they're put into this and Unreal Engine. Uh, as models. So I won't put one in, but I just I'll, I'll download just one thing just so you can see. Let's pretend I wanted this. You have to click on it once you're logged in. And so this is where it's downloading it to your uh, computer. And then once it's downloaded, then you can drag it. Okay. And maybe I want to add it to my house. But what I would suggest is don't put too many of these in because they are very uh, they take up a lot of space on your hard drive okay so just to make students aware of that but you might want to have like see like i just put that it creates like a really interesting decorative uh touch to my house whoops i'm going to leave it the way it was all right so if there are any questions please let me know and that's how you decorate the exterior of your house and add the materials thank you very much